been a huge campaign, possibly bigger than any campaign a secondary school has attempted. But of course, it has transformed the school. And the good news is that we are achieving our goal. As far as parents are concerned, they have come, they've reached what we hoped, and on the presumption that new parents would be as generous as the old parents. As far as the past are concerned, we're really on the line. We just got to a small push and we're over the line. And I'm quite confident that we can get over that line and close down the campaign at Christmas. And that's been a great achievement. And I'm most grateful to the past for providing that. The campaign hasn't been easy. It began in the good days, but at the end of one year, the economy went into a downward spiral. And at that stage, I was not involved, but the Jesuits, were called in to help and I was sent across at part time to campaign amongst the past. When I was asked to do this job, I wasn't particularly pleased. I knew that it was difficult to go and ask people for money, particularly in the difficult times. And I don't think anyone likes asking for money. And if they do, I think there's something wrong with them. But I, went, I, came, I did it gladly because A, I've been associated on and off for so long with Gonzaga. I have a great admiration for the school and the aims of the school. So I accepted this task, which I'm a bit distasteful, but I believe was a, in a good cause, and I threw myself into it. From my point of view, there were lovely things about the fundraising. One was, of course, establishing contact with people whom I may have had as students, many years ago, then establishing contact with a different generation and getting to know the history of students since, since I had them in school. All that was very pleasant. Now, some of my colleagues would say, did I not notice that Gonzagans crossed the road when they saw me coming? Well, I didn't actually. I found all, all of them gracious as well as generous. And we had very fine and interesting conversations, at least I found it so. But in the past, I had a similar job when I was headmaster here, but it was very different. As far as fundraising was concerned, all I had to do was to get up at a meeting and waffle. Now I had to put the hard question. And so while it was lovely having a conversation with past pupils, it was always over my mind that the hard question and the ask, as they say, had to be made. One of the things that struck me particularly was the fact that people were very generous whose children were not coming here for various reasons. Secondly, the affection people had for the school. And thirdly, very many people would put in words for someone who had a child applying for the school. And so you got an impression of the esteem in which the school was held in the wider community. And that was a very affirming and pleasant experience to have. My involvement is coming to an end. I'm retiring at Christmas. And as I do so, I want to thank all parents past for their contributions and pledges However, we do have a small hill to climb and I'm looking toward the past and I'm sure we will climb it. I'm looking not for great large donations, but modest donations. So what I want to say to past pupils, that if they see me coming down the road, please do not cross to the other side, but approach me, make a small donation, and we will thereby achieve by the end of the year, I'll go. Thank you very much.